the industry support for this project is outstanding. These are people from industry that are teaching the class. Over the next eight weeks, these four gentlemen will actually be in Cherokee High School, first period, teaching robotics. So if you want to come by uh, Cherokee any morning from 8 to 9.20, one of these four gentlemen will be in a class actually teaching the class. The teacher is in the class also. He is learning about the process. As, here's another list of industry people that's been involved in developing a project. They meet, they've been meeting Monday nights for a year, for about a year. Every Monday night these engineers have been coming over to Cherokee, meeting with Bobby and developing this program, putting together the curriculum. The state is going to look at Cherokee's curriculum and see if it's appropriate for, the, for their use because they're going to add robotics program to their curriculum next, next fall. We were able to secure a grant from Mass Warner Foundation to purchase four industrial robots. Uh, you can see this is actually two, two of them here that you can see. That was about $64,000 and so they'll be using up-to-date robots from industry. Um, the teacher of the class has been to Michigan to, to attend training for a week. Also one of the engineers from local plant has also attended that training. If we move. This robot was donated by Molly Cor Corporation. So you can see the industry support is not only time, but equipment. And then as we pr progress through, you'll see more and more equipment that these companies are donating to this project to make it work. Um, companies who are donating time, equipment, and their efforts. The uh, TCAT, or the Tennessee College of Applied Technology is very much interested in this project. We've met with them twice. In fact, I met with them again today uh, with uh, Mr. Patton in Marstown and Mr. Ferdine from the center at uh, Sorbonneville. They're looking at including uh, robotics into their program when well, we're going to align what we're doing at Cherokee with the Technology Center so the students can take the classes at Cherokee and then move on into the, that program. They're also looking at doing a survey for local industry to see what other needs are, are, that uh, you have in this area. This is a robot that the students developed over the last six weeks. They will be entering this robot in competition at the last of March. This is not a kit. This was built entirely at Cherokee High School from just pieces of things they put together. So they didn't buy this kit. They made this. The engineers were part of it, but it's the students. It's designed to pick up the ball and then to throw it through a hoop. basketball the first year, they had to throw frisbees last year, and there's also a climbing component where there's tripods set up in the middle of the thing. And you would either get so many points for hanging at different tiers of that uh, obstacle. So pretty uh, pretty interesting to see what they can do. 